You know, I absolutely love how the Bible uses imagery to teach spiritual truth so that we just have a better grasp. And, and sometimes we just need to visualize abstract concepts. And, and so I particularly love it when the Bible uses things like trees and water and nature. And I want to just read to you Psalm 1, because Psalm 1 uses imagery to contrast between those people who follow God and those people who don't. And uh, let me just read this to you. Psalm 1, the first half, says this. Blessed is the, is the person who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers, but their delight is in the law of the Lord, His word, and, and on His word they meditate day and night, and they will be, here's the result of doing that. Here's the result of following God's word. They will be like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in season, and their leaves do not wither, and whatever they do will prosper. Man, that's just good stuff. I think sometimes we all need to be reminded that following God's way is worth it. Following God's way matters. We don't just do it out of, out of religious duty. It's that there are promises that come to us for, for following God's word. And, and again, the imagery. I love the imagery. Look behind me. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, and this is what you see. Stream and trees and foliage. And see, that's the imagery that God wants you and I to connect with. See, it's, it's not this, this, this stale thing, relationship with Jesus, when we follow Him and His Word. It's, it's living. And when you live your life according to the Word of God, you, like I talked on Sunday, you're grounded. You, you're, you're, you build your life on a foundation. There's imagery. But this imagery, I don't know, is, is, for me, it just connects even deeper. You'll be like the trees behind me, and I, I got some beautiful trees behind me, you know, just some beautiful cedar trees behind me. You come up here on the corridor, it's lush, all the leaves are starting to come out, and the, the vine maple, and the different trees that are up here, and th these trees that are along the river, they are healthy, they are prosperous, they don't worry about drought. They, I mean, I've come up here in the dead of, of summer and August, and they're still just lush and it's vibrant up here. See, that's the promise God makes to you and I if we will live our lives according to the Word of God. That even in hard times, drought, pandemics, or whatever other problem, crisis we're going to face in, in this life, you build your life on the Word of God, you follow what He has to say regardless, but your, your roots will go down deep. You'll never have to worry because you're, you're planted by a stream. And can I just say, the stream is Jesus. You, you plant your life next to Him. The, and, and the stream in the kingdom of God will never run out. This is why we say constantly that Jesus is enough. He will always be enough. When you plant your life next to Him, you'll, you'll bear fruit. Your life will make a difference. You don't have to worry about the crisis that, that, that will take place even after this one. Because you're planted by the stream. And, and you're, you're, you're grounded, you're rooted in the Word of God. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Sometimes I know we wonder, is it worth it? Is it worth living my life according to the Word of God? The answer, men and women, is yes. Look at the imagery. This is what God says your life will look like. That's not a bad promise. I hope that you take hope today in the promises of the Word of God. May you all come to taste and see for yourself that the Word of God is true. Lord bless you today.